Hey guys, it's me again, Kevin, the uh, professional third-party Flight Sim developer, and uh, coming at you with another video on Flight Sim 2020. And if you remember on the first video uh, with me doing the in-depth analysis on the uh, introductory video or the teaser video, you want to call it, uh, one of the things I guessed on was the what was it the uh, texture streaming or the map streaming and, and just due to the mentioning Azure technology, which is a cloud-based server platform that Microsoft uses, and also the absurd amount of texture space, or the, the map space that they call that, what was it, something like 22 terabytes or what, I assume that th that means that they're going to be using some sort of texture streaming or texture, or not, te not only texture streaming, but uh, map streaming. So I just wanted to kind of cover a video on going a little bit too, more in depth on that, because that was one of the things I got the most questions about of, you know, how is it going to affect my performance, or, you know, am I going to be able to download fast enough, or a lot of those other questions. I kind of wanted to cover, touch, the, touch bases on some of those questions and see if I can't answer it still assuming that you know this is going to be you know something that happened in FS 2020 which we really don't know yet so uh, let's go ahead and dive into it as you can see here in my background I've been uh, beta testing my uh, Xena 701 product that I'm going to be releasing here pretty soon so look forward to that a little bit of a plug there but hey I don't mind some free tech actually free uh, marketing but anyways um, actually before we start let's go ahead and take a quick look over here uh, today is the 22nd and we're patiently awaiting the next update oh oh still not there all right I'll try back a little bit later uh, yeah, not so patiently waiting. <laughs> uh, still very, very exciting stuff. Looking forward to uh, whatever they put up there. Anyways, wanted to get back into the texture or the map streaming. Now, there's an easy way to answer the question of what does this map streaming mean to me or for me versus my system or my internet connection. And that is to actually fly a flight sim that has streaming textures already. Now, if Microsoft does decide to use streaming textures, this isn't exactly new. It is quite revolutionary in, you know, the, you know, world of gaming and it's another way of Microsoft advertise their cloud platform or their Azure streaming it. Uh, so it could be another you know, one of at Microsoft's avenues of why they're getting back into Flight Sim right now. But uh, yeah, there it's not the first time that it, this has happened. And let me go ahead and show you. Uh, if you tab over here and look at Google Maps, this is a great example of map streaming. And if you come in here to San Francisco while you have the... Uh, the, the 3D buildings right here loaded and then you can you know come in here and you can see that this is all streaming live from the internet this is something that you can do at home uh, come in here and you can see it's a full 3D view and you know you might recognize some of this stuff from yeah their uh, their teaser what was it I think it's yeah right about here so you know if you want you can come into Google Maps and compare what you saw in the teaser to this and this is pretty close I don't think it's the same map because there's a different set of boats in here but anyways um, but this is an example of texture and map streaming and so this is a good way of testing your internet and the performance on your system now one thing about the texture and map streaming is the the geometry and the textures here are not using advanced shaders. They're not using reflections. They're not using normal maps. They're not using uh, the honestly. They're not using PBR because this is a pretty old technology. So it, it is a very re, very streamlined, very basic polygons and textures. The the shadows that you're seeing are baked into the textures. So this is all going to be very very perf high performance, and it's something that honestly you can do on your phone you know your phone or your tablet has the power to push this so on a hardware sense I don't see it being a big hit on hardware performance 
but let's talk about the streaming or the, the download uh, of this. As you can see, this is already downloaded, and if you move over here, you can see this is low, and it starts to stream. See, uh, it starts to populate because I've moved into a zone that had not been downloaded yet. Uh, so that is the streaming right there in action. It's also a way of optimizing that stream in that it's only going to download what it needs. Well, let me first say, assuming that Microsoft is going to be using this technology, they should have it in place to where they have some sort of optimization in what you're downloading. It, when you enter San Francisco, it's not going to download all of San Francisco. It should only download what you're seeing. It's, it's a predictive algorithm based on, you know, you're flying an aircraft, generally it's going to be pointing in the same direction and going in the same speed. So based on that, they can predict where you're going to be and start downloading it ahead of time. So you shouldn't honestly see this popping. And a way of demonstrating that is let's go ahead and go out here. You can see it's actually no longer uh, downloaded the high detail. And actually you can test this out in a flight sim for free. If you download the Google Earth Pro, come in here to tools and then enter flight simulator now let's talk best case scenario we got this sr-22 a little private single engine uh, aircraft it's not going to fly all that well so this is going to be t best case scenario let's go ahead and start the flight sim and boom i'm in it i've got my i don't know it does this have okay it does have throttle it doesn't have any sound that i can see or hear but this is best case scenario is you're in a small aircraft uh, about let's go ahead about to 1500 feet okay yeah let's go ahead and climb a little bit and, and this is well like I said best case scenario and you can kind of see a little bit of the pop in uh, again this is a this is a throwaway t toy for Google they're not putting any effort into this so they really probably don't have a predictive algorithm based for a flight sim their predictive algorithm is based for mapping so it's just going to download whatever you're close to but you can see my I've actually got a pretty good internet connection so it's it seems to be streaming just fine and I don't seem to be having a problem in that by the time I get to an object it should be already downloaded so there's some peers there that look like they're pretty low detail and let's see what happens so as I'm getting to them yeah you can see the boats are now getting rendered and things are starting to pop in as I'm approaching them again this is not optimized for a flight sim this is optimized for a map so one could obviously assume that a flight simulator will optimize better um, now let's go ahead and get out of this and let's go back to where we were not that high now let's do worst case scenario we have that F-16 fighter that you saw okay we got the low detail city now this is the worst case scenario something fast that's going to approach the city at a rapid speed and let's see if it could actually keep up go ahead and flight and start let's go ahead and throttle it okay we're definitely taking to a little nosedive get some speed here there we go oh my gear is there we go flaps all right worst case scenario here we come now you can see I'm approaching this a lot faster and let's see if it can handle it. A little bit tight, but yeah, so far it looks like it's able to handle it. Worst case scenario, and especially at this speeds, you're not really noticing detail, but okay, we're starting to get a little bit of the low detail stuff. But again, this probably does not have any predictive algorithms based on a flight sim. So we're starting to see it break down a little bit. 
but this is again something that you can do on your side you know download the Google Earth and fly around see how you like it see how it per you know how it downloads on your connection and it's just you know just another little uh, toy for us to play with while we sit here and eagerly await more details on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 speaking of which let's see anything new F5 Nope, still no updates. All right, well, anyways, that's it for today, and uh, hope enjoy flying and keep the blue side up.